All right. So, um, today, what up, everybody? It's Girl Together, and today I'm going to be um, doing a day in the life video, which is a Q and A wrapped up into two basically segments. Basically, it's basically about me and the questions you guys ask about me, of course. So, uh, you're probably asking yourselves. Girl together, we don't need to know about you. You already talked told us about you in your other Q and A video. Well, that was because I told you guys about other stuff, but this stuff I haven't told you guys about. Twenty seventeen, guys, twenty seventeen, and I haven't talked to you guys about my life. Most of you guys are like, we don't want to know about your life. Your life is stupid. It's sucky. It's shit. We don't want to know about it. But sometimes in life. You have to tell about your life sometimes. If you want to tell your subscribers what's wrong and happening, then go ahead and do what you please. So, I got 20 questions from my phone, and I'm going to um, read them. Darn. All right, so, I got 20 questions from my phone, and I'm going to be reading them off my phone. So the first question comes from Silverfan45, and she wanted to know, how was high school? What was the first experience on your first day of school? To be honest, it's very scary. It's very scary. Um, freshman year, um, do you mean like the beginning, beginning? Like the beginning, beginning? Like, like, like freshman year? Or my junior year? I think she means freshman year. Okay. She means freshman year. Um, the experience of me going to school in freshman year was scary terrifying. I had no idea who no one was. I didn't know anyone's names. I just walked to the people and started talking with them. Um, I actually um, got my first, I got my phone right when I came, I got my phone for my birthday and I got this phone before I went, uh, before I went to school. So the experience was really scary. I, I didn't know who anybody was. I didn't know anyone's names. I didn't know any teachers or where anything was because it was the first day of school and we didn't know where everything was. But that was four periods. Now it's the eight block schedule. I mean, nothing. I mean, the experience was scary. I, I didn't know who anybody was. I didn't really talk to anybody that much. And I didn't really know most of the people. Um, I, I didn't know most most of the people. I, I, I just didn't know when it was an experience. So, yes. Question number two comes from... What was her name? Starfish73? She wanted to know, how did I meet Scott? Well, I haven't actually, I haven't talked about him in my videos. And you guys have been asking me how I met him. So I'm going to tell you guys how I met him. He'll probably kill me if I say this, but whatever. Dying on YouTube is worth the, is, dying on YouTube is, is worth it. Anyway, so back in like freshman, sophomore year, I saw a bunch of kids at the table of course, not my table. They were like two, like four tables down from me. They were all the way down by the doors. And I saw this kid with um, multicolored hair. Well, not multicolored, but it was like different colors. It was yellow, then it was blue, then now it's pink and white. Well, now it's white now. But um, I saw this these kids and I saw this kid with the uh, yellow hair, I believe it was yellow hair. Then I saw another kid next to him with black hair. And then I saw a kid with no hair. A bald kid, basically. And I walked up to the table, and I introduced myself. I said, my name is Lexi, and I am a sophomore freshman. I can't remember. And he told me his name was Scott, and I told him it was a, it was a really good name. So me and him started to be friends. And then things kind of took a little turn. And I'm not going to say what happened, because it's between him and me. So... Things started to take a turn. We were friends, and then something happened. But I'm not going to say because it's between me and him, and people don't really want to know about what happened. So it's between me and him. So we met basically freshman, sophomore year, basically. And I started hanging out with this kid, and he's a really good, 
cool kid and I I like to talk to him after school. We meet by the tree after school in our little section. Me, Scott, Alicia, Genevieve, and sometimes Zoe and sometimes Jess, but she's with Patrick sometimes. So we usually meet there and we talk about random stuff that comes to our mind. Like we talk about what happened in the day or things that happened to them in the classes and all that stuff. So yeah, that's how I met Scott. Number three comes from... Number three comes from Lacey Grace 483 I think her name was. I can't remember. She said, what's my relationship status? Right now, it's very complicated right now. My relationship status is really complicated, and I would rather not talk about it that much. I can still tell you. I, I mean, the relationship status is complicated enough as it is. So, yeah. Number four comes from Hello Kitty fan number 74, I believe her name was. And she said, how many exes have you had? And your current ex-boyfriend, is he still talking with you? Well, as you guys know, I broke up with Dean, of course. Um, we dated for six months, and he broke up with me, and he said he couldn't handle a long-term relationship. I not sure what that really means, but we dated and then we broke up. He was like, he was the love of my life. He was my Jack and I was his Mira. Yeah, those are our role playing names. People kind of made fun of me about that for school and school. So anyways, um, we dated for six months and then things started to go on the wrong hand. Um, he didn't want to keep continuing it because it was too long and to answer your question about me talking with him, no. Me and him don't talk anymore. I texted him once, and that was the last time I te te text. Excuse me, I can't talk. That was the last time I texted him because he never wanted to talk to me again. So, yeah. And he's been acting really different around me. So, I mean, ever since he broke up, things have been starting to change from bad, from good, to horrible and I am not entirely sure if I can live without talking with them because I still want him to be my friend exes can be friends they just can't get back together I guess that's not how love works besides he is a girlfriend so yeah number five is from pillow fan 33 I believe her name was um what are your goals in life on YouTube? My goals in life are doing these videos and actually, you know, making a change and a point. And doing this makes me feel really good. I, I like what I do on YouTube. I like what I do for you guys. And I like what I do on my phone for you guys. I like what I do on my iPad for you guys. But the truth is, if I didn't have YouTube, I wouldn't have you guys. You're like my YouTube family. I love you guys so much, and I want you to leave me a comment letting me know what your favorite memory was on my channel. That's all the time I have for today and my questions. I only got fit three. I'm sorry. So I will see you guys in the next video. And stay tuned for tomorrow for the Google Live Hangouts chat stream that I'm going to be doing on my, um, my channel. And uh, it will probably go till, uh, I don't know, midnight. I don't know, 10 o'clock, maybe 11. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another video. I hope you guys like it. I want to give a shout out to the two people I said. I want to give a shout out to my friend. I want to give a shout out to Scott. And I want to give a shout out to, to Dean. So.